Welcome to the Morning Update. I'm Erin Ramsey. Skyrocketing COVID numbers in Tokyo will see the Olympic Games staged without any spectators. With daily infection numbers increasing to around 900, the city is being plunged into its fourth state of emergency. But International Olympic Committee President Thomas Bach says he's confident the Games can proceed safely. The strict uh, measures having been established uh, to uh, protect everybody, the Japanese uh, people and uh, the participants of uh, the games. The Victorian government has not ruled out declaring the whole of New South Wales a red zone. Greater Sydney recorded 38 new COVID cases yesterday. Health authorities hold concerns for families returning from school holidays. Meantime, police are cracking down on parts of Greater Sydney and people breaching public health orders. 21 of the latest COVID cases are from southwest Sydney. Health authorities linking the spike to gatherings of families and friends. 100 officers will take part in the operation. The death of a woman in Western Australia is being directly linked to the AstraZeneca vaccine. The 61-year-old developed a brain bleed after getting the vaccine early last month. And more doses of the Pfizer jab are on the way. Canberra in talks with the vaccine manufacturer. It's believed our order has been up to 1 million jabs a week from the end of July. The rollout on the top of the agenda at today's National Cabinet meeting. To sport now, and Ash Barty has continued her winning run at Wimbledon, beating former champ Angelique Kerber 6376, making it through to the final. Barty, now the first Aussie to make the women's final since 1980, should now play Karolina Pluskova for the championship. In AFL, last night's top four clash has seen the Demons beat the power on their home deck by 31 points, 86 to 55, and Canberra's kicked off round 17 of the NRL with a 30 to 16 win over Manly. In entertainment news, Dua Lipa is set to make her acting debut. The singer, starring in an upcoming film alongside Henry Cavill, John Cena and Samuel Jackson. A blow for Harry Potter fans, Daniel Radcliffe insisting that there's no plans for a 20th anniversary reunion. The 31-year-old who played the boy wizard says scheduling conflicts means the cast won't be catching up. And supermodel Bella Hadid has gone public with her latest romance, sharing a pic of herself kissing her new man in France. The runway regular confirming rumours linking her to art director Mark Kalman. That's your latest from the Nova Podcasts team. We'll see you this afternoon for another episode of The Update.